and Miss Kim. We're so glad to see you. And this week, we're talking about something brand new. But before we start, I want to remind you of what we've been talking about this summer. So, Miss Kim, what is our theme for the whole summer? Be together. Dun, da, da, da. All right, so be together is all the summer. But last week, we had a specific theme, which mm. was be still. Yeah. This week, we have a brand new theme for you. Miss Kim, what is that new theme? Be loved. Be loved. So this time, we want to invite you to find this sheet of paper in your packet labeled week three, be loved. Before you do that, you're going to need a few more things from your packet. You're going to need this piece of paper. You're also going to need your Jesus Loves You puzzle. It's a white square that folds down, so make sure you go ahead and find it and just have it handy. Also, this in your packet, you've got the theme verse for the whole summer, which is Be Together. So you want to find that one. And one more thing you're going to need is your Bible. So you should have a Bible at home that looks something like this. So at this time, parents, we invite you to pause the video and to find these items for your kids before we move forward. As we continue, we invite you to look at what color our table is today. It's the same color we had last week because we are still in our green season. I want to remind you what green means. It means ordinary time and it's a season of growth. So be reminded that every time you see the green, it's a time for you to grow and to think about your faith. Miss Kim? I'm going to light the candle because we want to show that the Holy Spirit is with us while we're here today. Awesome. Thank you cool. so much. Now listen, everybody. Jesus is mentioned a lot in the Bible. It's really important that we know that our Bible is really, really important to us as we learn about mm -hmm. Jesus and as we learn about our faith. Yeah. One of the things we know that Jesus said is that he loved yes, children. He in fact, he wasn't saying, keep all those crazy kids away from me. He uh -huh. said, bring all the kids to me. And I think the Bible talks about that a lot. It did. I've got a cool verse that's in the Bible. It says, let the little children come to me. Do not stop them, for it is such, to such as these that the kingdom of God belongs. Uh, that is just cool. He loved kids. Wow, that's awesome, Miss Kim. Is. It is. While you have your Bibles, go ahead and turn to Matthew chapter 19, because that's where our story comes from this week. And if you remember, Matthew is the first verse or first chapter in the New Testament. We've been there before. All of these books up here are the Old Testament, and here's Matthew. All right, go ahead and get your Bibles and turn to Matthew chapter 19. Now that you have found Matthew 19, let me remind you of what our verse of the week is. So just listen as I read this to you. See what kind of love God has given to us in that we should be called God's children, and that is what we are. Miss Kim, have you ever heard of I am a child of God? I have heard that. So even if you're not a kid, can you be a child of God? I guess because I've heard adults say that. Yeah. Yeah. So I think for what we're doing today and the story we're about to read, know that yes we're talking about children but that everybody that god created is a child of god so let's now listen as miss kim reads to us our scripture for the week i want to tell you a story it happened a long long time ago jesus was out on a hill and there were people all around him there were grandmas grandpas aunts uncles moms dads children were there too and they were playing but after a while they wanted to get up there to talk to Jesus. And when they started inching their way up there, well, look, I'm gonna tell you the rest of the story comes from the Bible. Turn in your Bibles to Matthew 19, verses 13 through 15. It says, then the little children were being brought to him in order that he might lay his hands on them and pray. The disciples spoke sternly to those who brought them. But Jesus said, 
Let the little children come to me and do not stop them. For it is to such as these that the kingdom of heaven belongs. And he laid his hands on them and he went on his way. That is so cool. See, Jesus took time, even though those disciples were saying, they're just kids. They don't know anything. Get them away. Jesus realized, no, kids mean a lot. And Jesus loves kids just as much as he loves adults. You know what I was thinking as I read that story? What would I ask Jesus if I was sitting around listening to him and had a chance to talk to him? What would I ask him? How about you? What questions would you ask him? I loved that story that Miss Kim just read to us. All right, are you guys ready to play an awesome game? Are I, you ready? I am ready. It's oh. a fun game. It's oh, fun game. Yeah. yeah. Okay, we're going to say some statements. And if one of these things is true of you, mm -hmm. we want you to raise your hand. All right, are you guys ready? Give I'm a thumbs ready. up if you're ready. Okay, here we go. Do you like to tell funny jokes? Guess, Guess what? what? Jesus, Jesus loves you. Do you like to listen to music or play instruments? Guess, Guess what? what? Jesus, Jesus loves you. Do you like to explore nature? You know, look for worms, birds, snakes, all those fun things. Guess what? Jesus loves you. Do you like UNC, Wake Forest, NC State, or any other college team? Guess what? Jesus loves you. Do you like to dance? Guess what? Jesus loves you. Do you like to draw or paint pictures? Guess what? Jesus loves you. Do you like to read? Guess what? Jesus loves you. Do you like to play sports? Guess what? Jesus loves you. Do you like to play with your toys? Guess what? Jesus loves you. Are you watching this video right now? Guess what? Jesus loves you. I've had a lot of fun with you guys today. What about you, Miss Kim? I have too. It's been fun. If anything, we are reminded that God loves us no matter what. There is nothing that we can do that can separate us from the love of God. And we were reminded of that in the story of Jesus today. As we end today, I want to invite you to take this that is found in your packet. This is your Jesus Loves Me puzzle. You get a chance to color it all different colors, however you want to color it. And once you're finished with it, ask your parent or grandparent or whichever adult is with you to help you put this together so that you can make a puzzle cube and read all the different things in here. I have loved being with you. And remember that nothing you do can separate you from the love of God. Miss Kim? That's right. It has been fun being with you today. And if, you, if it's okay, I'll just finish with a prayer. Thank you, God, for all the ways you love us. Thank you that your love is always with us and that nothing can separate us from your love. Thank you for loving all of your children. In Jesus' name, amen. Amen. We hope you guys have a great week. Stay tuned. On this video, we have a few announcements coming up for you. Have a great week, everybody. Bye, guys.
Miss Amy, I've got a joke for you. You do? Yeah. Well, what is it? What do you call a dinosaur who is sleeping? A dinosaur who's sleeping? Mm -hmm. I don't know. A dinosaur! Ah! That's a good one, Miss Kim. Thank you. We want to invite you to bring your favorite joke to Midweek with Matt this Wednesday at 2 o'clock. Now, just remember, when you're out and about this week in Winston-Salem with your parents, if you go to the grocery store or you're out playing with your friends, don't forget to wear your mask. Be like Winnie the Pooh and our Triceratops and Miss Kim. And if you want to wear a fun hat, go for yes, it. Sir. We're excited to see you Wednesday at 2 o'clock. We'll see you then. Bye. Bye.